What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Y'all already know what time it is. We got the Chase That Bad podcast. Hey, man, we got a very, very, very special guest. Pimp. The man himself, motherfucking Chuzu in this bitch, man. Oh yeah, man. Shit, I'm 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 happy to be in your presence, man. Chase the bag podcast. Shit. I'm fucking with it, my nigga. Joseph, we go back, nigga. Shit, I'm happy to be here, my nigga. What's going on? Yes, Lord, man. Shit, man. I'm just honored to have you on the motherfucking me show, man. Shit, it's a, it's a lot of you know I've been seeing and I want to talk to you about and discuss and uh just you know what I'm saying, see what's popping with Chuzu. You dig what I'm saying? Oh shit, nigga, it's 2021, nigga We back outside, nigga yes, That's what they said, nigga Shit, niggas is flying for $60 and shit, nigga hey, yo. Shit, nigga, we back outside, nigga And, and, and the Chuzu camp, nigga The True Virtue camp, nigga We we finna be back outside 2021 yeah. We're getting all that later on, dog Yes, Lord You think, they gonna, <laughs> you think they gonna make us have to take a shot, man To travel eventually? Thing. Nigga, yes, nigga, it ain't it ain't no way about it. It's just the same way how they do in schools and colleges. You gotta have certain shots. And just matter of fact, I mean, I don't give a fuck how nobody feel, but she, I just got my first uh, vaccine shot today, nigga. What? You nigga, lying? This nigga doing this shit for camera. For I real. am not lying, nigga. I'm. I I tell you why though. I. I I understand what the future hold, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm finna be traveling and shit. So, so what you tell me, bro, is if they make it a, a mandatory vaccine to get to fly or travel anywhere, you ain't gonna get it. I mean, shit, we can still travel by bus, can't we? I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, like we can travel by automobile, huh? Got two feet too. You can walk too if yeah, if you just want to walk. Know, but but right, I didn't think about it overseas though. And school and, and certain jobs, you probably gonna have to have that for sure. Your kids because they in school with a thousand other kids. I mean, I'd want them other kids to have the vaccine too, but. I mean, you got to look at it on both sides, but I did get my vaccine today. Uh, which, which ones you take? Was it Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson? The Pfizer. I heard the uh, the, uh, the Johnson & uh I guess it's the Jensen, whatever, Johnson & Johnson. Johnson I guess Johnson. they make lotion and shit, too. I don't know. Shit, they make <laughs> <laughs> but uh nah, I ain't get the Johnson Johnson, uh, you know what I'm saying? What I got the uh the Pfizer. The Pfizer, okay. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to get another one. I think it's two, but they having complications and all that shit. But yeah. you gonna have yeah, to have it, nigga. Fine, I mean you good, Suzu the greatest good. Hey man. Shit. <laughs> Do I look like I was left off the booty? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I feel you, man. I mean, she, you know, it's it's something to think about. I'm still, I'm still uh, torn, man. But I mean, it's just me. You feel me? Oh shit, man. Uh, 2021 finna be a a magnificent year, nigga. It's gonna change a lot of people's minds, man. A lot of people were gonna go to another dimension mentally, man, because a lot of awakening shit is finna happen, nigga. Facts. facts. Big facts. I ain't, I ain't finna go into all that, but you know. Yeah. So, so give me the background on Tuzu, man. Give me the background on Tuzu. A whole lot of people be uh, trying to figure out where a nigga name come from. I know that's kind of always a, a who, what, what, what kind of shit is that? Yeah. I mean, shit, it's new shit, nigga. I was on the future shit back then. Shit, motherfuckers coming out with crazy names now, but my shit, I used to like Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? I like Pikachu, shit like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we used to have them cars back in the yeah, day. Yeah, nigga, shit, nigga, that era, nigga, I'm a 90s baby, nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga, so, oh. shit, and it's got a whole nother meaning as well, but I came up with Chuzu, nigga, cause shit, I'm the chosen one, I choose you type shit. I really. My nigga, so, like, I was already 10 to 15 years in the future when I thought about that, cause you got... You know what I'm saying? Fugiano, these weird ass names, my nigga, little trippy, little red, all type of crazy names, cause that's what niggas wasn't thinking about then. Everybody was little this, little that, youngness. Shit, nigga, I was already there. Shit, yeah. we here now, nigga. So, so Suzu is the chosen one. Yeah, hey, yeah. Already. That's what's up, bro. All that's right. what's up. So, so you, where you from initially? I'm from uh, Tyler, Texas, Rose City, uh, east side of Texas, nigga. County Rose, nigga. Ah, really? Shit. We got rose bushes and shit down here, nigga. <laughs> Yellow Rose, Rose capital of the world, nigga. Look it up. It's interesting because I think you made a comment. I 
I think on your, it might have been on your Facebook page. You said something about a country nigga versus a city nigga or something or some shit like that. What was this shit all about, bro? Nigga, hey, 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 hey. I started laughing at that shit. I ain't know how hey, to feel. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of partners from New Orleans and shit. My niggas, some niggas stay in the city a lot, man. Niggas, I, I, I got some partners that don't even, like, mowing some grass, nigga. Like, that yeah. shit's foreign, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, it's, it's like, crazy. simple shit like that, nigga. And shit, nigga, them hoes, I'm damn near 30, I'm 27, so... Nigga, these hoes want a nigga that want to know how, know how to cut the grass, nigga. Them cougars be out the yo ass, I already know. Shit. I swear to God, look, I went, I went to Walmart <laughs> earlier, bro, to pick up some stuff, man. And I was just walking through, and I was saying, like, oh, a lot of older women, bro. And they was fine as shit, bro. And I was like, hmm, I think Tyler got Dallas beat on the cougars, man. Look, 40 and up. I think Tyler got Dallas beat on the Cougars, dog. No cap. Nah, I think I think Tyler got a lot of cities beat with just low key, man. Like the fine bitches down here, they stay inside, my nigga. They got they niggas. Inside. They got niggas and shit. They and you know what I'm saying, outside. my nigga. <laughs> but we got some hell down here, man. You know the city. You know the city. You get all types. You get mixed up. All type of races, man. So, do you feel like do you feel like you should approach a cougar or a cougar should approach you? Which one? I really think the man should approach the female. Just to be honest. So, how would you approach a cougar? Like, if you was giving a lesson on oh cougar approaching this, I like what, this. What would you I like this shit? Here, what nigga, would you? Damn. What would you like? What would? How would you approach the cougar? You know what I'm saying? All right, look. I'm gonna keep it real pimping, my nigga. Mind the pimp volume three, nigga, dropping what three, four days, nigga. All right, I'm finna keep it pimping. I what, tell what, a bit. What, what, what's the name of it again? Mind of a pimp. Mind of a pimp. Volume three. Volume three. Nigga, Spotify, iTunes, all that shit, nigga. Yo. How would I approach a cougar? I obviously come with some fly. I'd probably be like, that pussy like a jalapeno pepper. I'm trying to get all. I'm trying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That pussy is like a jalapeno pepper. I'm trying to get all up in your business. <laughs> and she gonna be like, "This nigga thought that nigga exactly. I didn't. I didn't got her. I didn't got her just like that." Damn. You ain't know what, nigga? I just got her just like that. Damn. She gonna be balling like a bit, laughing like a motherfucker on the floor. Hey, them the ones that's gonna cook for you, man. Does it matter? Does it matter? <laughs> you right. Does it matter Thank where they're you. located? Like, 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 does the approach change if you in Walmart versus if you in Fresh? You know what I'm saying? That does the say approach fresh. change? You know what I'm saying between the two places? You know well, what I'm saying? Well, you probably ain't gonna see me at Fresh, so I I go with the Walmart. Yeah, I'd probably they say be that. At fresh? I, it's too far from where we at, man. That's that's the you know the the sophisticated Brooks's nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, nigga, we out here. Wild morning shit, nigga. Super center. Save a lot, nigga. <laughs> shit, the Mexican market, nigga. Don't count them out, nigga. Shit. Damn. Hey, Depending man, them cougars, the sophisticated cougars need love, too. They need some choosing in their life, the chosen one in their life, too. Nigga, they got to come to me, nigga. Shit. But y'all thought you said, y'all thought you said the man was supposed to approach. Yeah, they got to come on my side. I, I, oh, I see okay. you when I see you, but goddamn, you want me to come over there. She she gonna have to like what I got going on. I feel you. I feel shit, nigga. You ain't got no cougars in the, in the camp right now, <laughs> nigga. I got a song called Savage on my uh, my mixtape that's finna drop, nigga. Uh, that hoe that hoe gonna like. I got a little gangster bitch. She twenty two. Yeah. I bought her first little twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little bread winner. She thirty eight. Ride yeah. around that thirty eight. Yeah. Got an old chick. She forty five. Always keep that forty five. Yeah. Oh God. I go hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I keep, I keep them, my nigga. Shit, yeah. I keep them on me. Already. So, so, me. so, so, Tuzo, you, you, um, for me personally, I know you for dropping super dope visuals, right? Ooh, yeah. Um, the last one that really caught my attention was Country Boy. Oh yeah, shout out to Vince Tucker, nigga, nigga. That whole, that whole still doing numbers. There. He was featured on there. That was the video, Country Boy. Um, and it was also right around the time of Old Town Road. Nigga, that came out before Old Town Road. Oh, it nigga. came out before. Let me get that shit straight. That okay, shit came out before. Prior to, nigga. Shit. 
And the crazy thing about it is, man, a lot of people wouldn't even like, like own that, like that way. That, that shit, my nigga, that, that the mix, the country between the rap niggas wouldn't own that nigga, right? But like I say, I be trying to do some future shit before it happened, and shit, folks just wasn't accepting it. And then when that came out, it became accepted. Yeah. How that shit make you feel, dog? Nigga, it really just lets me know how far my mind is, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Which is, I know I'm going in the right direction. Shit, that's all that means, bro. And I feel pretty good about it. Shit. And it, and it was a good song. I I I personally like the song. Shit. Yeah. Well, Country Boy was hot, man. Like, uh, it had a, um, a country theme to it. And the most recent one that I caught was... Um, um, goats. Oh yeah, y'all that's that. Goat. That's that mind of a pimp. Uh, that visual blew me away. Like man, I thought this shit was dope, bro. Like talk to me about like what inspired you, and you know, was it you who came up with the creative for that visual? Was it somebody? I mean, like what what was what was up with the making of that? Because that visual is stupid, bro. Well, well, well. Check this out. Around that time, we were doing that 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 song. Shit was around by Super Bowl time. And everybody was talking about Tom Brady the GOAT. And then prior to that, people was talking about Kobe, you know what I'm saying? He was the great. They were saying Mike, you know what I'm saying? It was just the hashtag GOAT was, that was hot, nigga. And it was around Halloween time. And we always have a hundred house out here. Nigga, we put up the shit. GOAT came into play. Whew. And that's what you get. You seen that shit, right? That shit was hard, bro. And so listen like, to the song, man. Like, nah, listen nah, to that whole. Yeah, the song is hard, too. Like, like so, and, and, and I, I was thinking about that because I was like, man, I, I like the song. Mm-hmm. And I was I like, like but I really like the visual, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I didn't want to oh, feel yeah. like I was taking away from the song. My nigga the Easy did hard, that too. video. That is, like, you, don't you know what I'm saying? Light work. The the light work studio, my nigga Easy shit. You know what I'm saying? My nigga. That's who shot it? Yeah, hey, yeah. Okay, you said light work studio? Yeah, yeah. Where this located? Aaron Dollar, shit, my nigga Easy did that shit. This shit was hard. Hey, I agree. I love that motherfucker. Is shit. that coming off of the the next? Pro- is that gonna be on the next project? Yeah, nigga, that's the introduction on the tape. Four twenty, Mind of a Pimp, nigga, Volume Three, nigga. And shit. y'all should be doing numbers like Country Boy was at one hundred and nineteen thousand views. Mm-hmm. It was on Facebook. Like it should be doing numbers. And a lot of them, and a lot of them, ain't from around this area, bro. A lot of them people is from Louisiana, Mississippi, like Arkansas, Florida, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them people on that country shit, with that shit is in the streets. That shit went further than, like, just here, man. And they waiting on something new, too. And we got them going, too, man. <laughs> so, so, you got any collaborations, or who have you collaborated in the past, and, or are you collaborating with anybody on this current project? Any major artists you done collaborated with? Oh yeah, I'm always I'm always doing some collabs, bro. I nigga Vince Tucker, shit, we done a whole lot of work. We finna drop a tape anyway, you know what I'm saying? But I got him on some tapes, some tracks, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh I really was working with um Smitty at uh one point of time. You know what I'm saying? We was working uh on a song track called Wagon. That shit gonna drop. Um I did a whole lot of collaborations with, like, just artists that that's that's not even on this tape as well. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I got a whole nother tape with a bunch of collaborations from just local artists. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole list of those. We can go for a minute on that. But um, with this tape you finna get, it really don't have no, like, collaborations. You know what I'm saying? Well, I got, you know what I'm saying, like, Mike Boogie on, on one track. You know what I'm saying? And I got, you know, my nigga Ace, you know what I'm saying, made a couple beats on that hoe. Uh, well, but a lot of the features that I got, I ain't going to be on this tape, fam. You know what uh, I'm saying? So you just, you just going to do that thing your, yourself, solo dolo? Yeah. For sure. Ain't no wrong with that. Well, I got a couple on there, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of the features that I do have, like, well, they're not going to be on this tape. Like, we starting from ground zero, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want people to hear... You know what I'm saying? Like, what they really getting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, we're going to focus on, you know what I'm saying, moving. You know what I'm saying? As far as collaborating with a bunch of artists that we need to. But 
On this tape, you're going to get mostly choosers on this. Right. For sure. That's what's up. So let me ask you a question, bro. Like, how do you feel about the current state of hip hop in Tyler and the East Texas surrounding areas for artists? Oh, I say that one more time. How do you feel about the current state of rap in Tyler and the East Texas surrounding areas mm. when it comes to those artists that's a, that are in those cities? I'm gonna be real with you, like now, bro. My nigga, like you know. It's a lot of good energy going around, my nigga, like the city right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people's spirits is high, bro. Like, we all making good music. Like, shit. Like, like right now, shit. I really feel like that we could do something right now, man. Let's just keep the energy flowing, man, because it's real good. I kind of feel that shit. Do you think it's anything that uh, personally is holding those artists back from being able to get to the next level? I mean, what is that next level? Just as a whole, shit. I mean, like a nigga would say, like everybody need to kind of work together. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, like, we, like we was just talking about, like shit, and, and like move as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Instead of individually. But on a personal note, it's like shit. Like everybody had their own shit. They fighting with themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, with just myself. Like, I got a lot of shit holding me back, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just on some real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it's a lot of good energy going on in the city, bro. I love it, man. It's just, yeah. I just want everybody to keep that energy flowing, bro. Because, shit, well, that's the only way we're going to eat around this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's what I'm real. saying? That's real. What I like do you it. think will take you to the next level? Me, shit. I feel like I'm already there, just to be honest, bro. Shit. My, each person, each like each individual, bro, they got their own like 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 scale of success, bro. Like I and that's I'm, I'm I glad feel that good, you, bro. I'm glad that you said that because because <coughs> that's what that's what I wanted to I wanted to, to to talk about too is like you know I asked that question of like what's you know what, what what would take you to the next level? A lot of times I think it's all about what is that level, and everybody has a different level, a different perspective of what that next level is. Like, what is that next? Like, if you you know I know I know you feel like you're you know where you are, but if you could go up, if you could like go up another level, like if you could, you know, what would those goals be for you personally, and what would what would that look like? What would you know what would it be? I mean, shit, honestly, bro, like like what a nigga just want to help a. More people, bro. Honestly, like, I mean, shit, we ain't gonna die with the shit that we make. You know what I'm saying? With the money that we make, nigga. I mean, like, well, it's all all good to kind of like have some, like, some real estate and just just my nigga having heaven here on earth. I guess that's what we kind of chasing. We chasing that heaven on earth shit, man. Which is cool. I mean, but you know, like a nigga just really want to be like in that position, my nigga. Like, like with the. Employ people, nigga. Like help Yo. people, nigga. Like so, so, so. When you say shit. that you see that you see that, ne that level that you'd like to get to, where this the next on down the line, whether that you know, regardless of, would mm -hmm. you say that 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 position to be able to really extend an opportunity and a resource to other people and be able to employ other people and, and give them opportunities that they may not have right now? Yeah, yeah. Shit, I, I really, I really believe that's what everybody should be chasing, bro. Cause. The money gonna circulate. I don't give a damn, nigga. Like, like with the rap shit, don't make money. She niggas gonna get some money some other kind of way. Niggas gonna, shit, niggas gonna feel that shit, bro. Niggas gonna live, bro. I agree because you know it's, it's extremely important to have multiple streams of revenue, especially like why is niggas are. doing it? Like they got it, they forget like why they doing it, my nigga. Like. It's cool to build yourself up, but if you got kids and shit, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you die, nigga, like, nigga, what have you done in, in your time living here, nigga, that, that really makes an impact of what's, how much money you done made? Like, I don't, I mean, shit, you spend it how you want to spend it, my nigga, but real nigga get respect by, like, you know what I'm saying, what he done did with the money that he getting. Yeah. I agree, man. I had an epiphany and a revelation the other day, man, where um, I was thinking about how you can live in the past, you can live in the future, 
you know, I always focus, focused on, you know, what you want to accomplish, and then you can also live in the now, which is the present, which I believe is called present for a reason because it's a gift. You know, in the future, you can try to prepare and, and be proactive and plan all you want to, but the only thing in the future that's promised is potentially life or death, which is a 50-50 chance. But in the now is where we're currently residing and we're living and we're expressing. So I think that a lot of times we have to focus on the now more so than anything so that way we really cherish the moments and what we're doing and the opportunities that we have. So let me ask you this. All right. I know you do music and shit, and you real good at it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know what I'm saying? I like what you're doing. This shit hidden, bro. I'm humble, bro. Thank you. Like... Like you said earlier, bro, with you killing two birds with one stone with what you doing, bro, like, like, shit, like, what you sticking other people on, like, what you making a platform for yourself, but what you also m making a platform for other artists, my nigga, to, like, shit, like, what it ain't no, you know what I'm saying, my nigga, no ego tripping on that. Like, I see that, my nigga, because most artists ain't, ain't going to do that for another artist. You know what I'm saying? That's just real shit. Like, like another artist really don't want to see another artist shine. That's why we're saying it's kind of like, yeah, like shit. Like we gotta get over that, not helping each other, cause that's what it's all about, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. I agree. I um, you know, when you when you said about working together, man, it made me think about it. a lot of people don't know why I started this platform and why I do this, but taste the bag. I like this shit. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I like this shit, bro. Like, really, the reason why I did it, bro, is because people want to know about the artists behind the music. Mm. And as artists, man, I found myself guilty of it as well, man. We focus so much on the song itself, too, mm. and we focus on the, the music video. Mm. And, you know, we do whatever we do on our, on our social media sites, but we don't have any other additional content. So I said, you know what? I said, I can give artists an opportunity to have content and focus on who they are behind mm. the music, which is good for their fans. Let me ask you this though. I, I, you know, so I hate to interrupt you, but like, like I was just talking about this the other day. Like the total package of an artist, like you know what I'm saying. It's more than just going to the studio and make a song, fool. Right. Like a nigga can right. just go in there, bitch, yeah, and, 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 and and drop songs all day. But I give you this mic and I put you on stage and I see what you do. Like what you gotta work on your performance just as much as you work in the studio. Honestly, more because they not really paying for the songs, bro. Come on, now. Songs they paying for the shows that you doing, and if they like your show, my nigga, yeah, they gonna pay you. Like, 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 well, this niggas with my songs that's not even hot, and they getting paid every week, good money, my nigga, because they got a good show. Yo, yo. So. My just advice, you know what I'm saying, on camera, shit, chase the bag, nigga. Yeah. Shit, my nigga, let's work more on our show game. Cause, I agree. Because that's what's going to get us paid, my nigga. And that's just game on, on camera, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk, bro, I'm glad you mentioned that, too, because I go to a lot of showcases. I go to a lot of competitions. I go to some open mics, not a lot. And I sit back and I, you know, you know, when you do this, you, you know, depending on what type of person you are, you, you will become a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm 33. I've been fucking around with music since I was 16. Started taking it serious at 18, up to about 24, 25, stopped, and then picked it back up around about 30, I think. And what I, what I notice is when I go out and I watch the performances, I hear artists that'll come out, they'll grab a mic, and they'll be on some, yeah, my name is, you know what I'm saying, and... Or they'll come out and say, you know, you're my hood and this woo 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 woo. And it's like, man, just looking at the performance as a whole from there to the stage presence to the energy to the getting the crowd engaged. You know, a lot of times I tell artists, I seen one artist, man, he sat down and everybody in the club was talking. He said, hey, man, I'm so-and-so, so-and-so, man, let me get y'all attention. And nobody was paying attention. He just kept saying, he said, all right, I ain't performing until I get y'all attention. Yeah. And he never got their attention. And DJ just mm -hmm. went ahead and started playing the music so he, so he could go ahead and perform. And I said... If you want to get their attention, ask a question. Yeah. Why don't you yeah, say, hey, yeah. man, how y'all feeling tonight? Well, that would cause for a response. And it's just those little things, man, versus, you know, making a statement versus asking a question when you come out, when you first hit the stage, and, and your tonality and how you ask that question. 
Hey, hey, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we got we got a show coming over Juvie, nigga. Yes, Lord. I I right, right, hold on. I'm gonna take you back though. I'm gonna take you back though. This nigga right here, nigga. Hey, nigga, nigga, throw money, nigga. We oh. doing something, nigga. Say shit. God damn, I was like, this nigga throwing money. We give it back to the fans. And he talking about get your attention, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, you know, so she, I, I applaud you on, on, on great showmanship, man. That, that shit was, that shit was live. I like that shit. That, that mean a lot shows need from, that. More of that, nigga. Yo, that means a lot coming from you, bro. I truly appreciate that. I truly appreciate that, man. I'm humble, bro. I, uh, I just try to be a student of the game. I try my best to, um, uh, uh, model the behavior. And at the same time, I'm not perfect, man. I have areas of opportunity as well. You know what I'm saying? That I try to focus on and improve too. So I'm always a student of the game. I'm always trying to get better, man. Because I love this shit. I love what we do. You know what I'm saying? It can really put us in positions to really take care of our families and do this shit full time and get paid off of it. I tell people, man, you get you a thousand fans. Get you a thousand fans. A Just thousand, a thousand. fans. And ten dollars a pop that you provide them with some type of product that they find valuable at ten dollars a pop. And you and you email market to them and you social media market to them, right? Your goal is to get ten dollars from one person a month. I don't think that's hard. I don't think that's hard. That ain't hard. That's ten thousand dollars a month times twelve months. That's one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year that you can make create content music for your fan. Nigga, I really think what the folks can save that amount of money, my nigga. Shit, f fuck selling my nigga or something, nigga. I think people can save that amount of money. Yeah. Like, my, just on some real shit. Like, what if you really put your mind to it, nigga? It ain't about how much you making. It's it's really about how much you saving. Come on, man. It ain't about what you make. It's about how much you keep. You need. No, nah, for real. No, nah, that's, that's, that's game, though. Shit, Good nigga. Time. That's a great question because I, I mean a great point because I want to ask you a question about this. Mm -hmm. It's not about how much you make; it's about how much you keep, especially with dealing with taxes, right? Now, Damn. a lot of people was upset with <laughs> prior previous Donald Trump president stimulus, right? They was upset because they said he only paid about six seven hundred dollars in federal tax income, and they was like, "Show your tax returns." And all these different type of things. And people were upset because they felt that because he had so much money that he should not have just paid six or $700 in income tax. He had a lot of people who was like, and the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poor. You know, what do you think about that before I shed any details on it? What do you think about it just overall? How do you, how do you feel about that, about the president? Man, the president I, president shit, like, I mean... I mean, my nigga, well, he was in office how long? Four years? We were there four years. Damn. That shit flew by fast in the bitch, didn't it? It did. I always do. I, I mean, but I feel like that shit was a joke, fam. I mean, like, bro, man, them niggas ain't, ain't none of them niggas paying fucking taxes, man. They just, I mean, who gives a fuck, man? They been doing, <laughs> I mean, bro, I was... I mean, well, you know, what a lot you of times, do? depending on what station you're watching, they have a certain audience. They put it on the news. Watching them. And it's, you know, the ones who really tripped on what he was paying was a Democratic, you know, liberal um, um, network. And they was talking to Democrats. And, and that's the reason why they did that. I'll tell you what he did. I'll tell you how he did it. I think what he did was fucking amazing. Bro. And if, and if, and if. And if some people can, you know what I'm saying, manipulate the Section 8 and the food stamp offices, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they would do this, too, if they was in a situation. So what a lot of people don't know is, like, with them businesses, man, you get a lot of tax write-offs. It's all about lowering your taxable income. So this shit's really ass backwards, bro. Like, my head, I'm finna turn around. <laughs> the, the people that's making more money, bro, like, like what they are paying less or no taxes, my nigga, like, because what they got, like, what, my nigga, to know how to do it. Yeah. Like, they and, know how to and, do it. and, like, that's and how it's really been, yeah. and that's how it's gonna be yeah. until shit, niggas figure it out. Already. I mean, shit, like, well, there's ways to figure it out, bro. Niggas just gotta live that way. Bro. Yes, Lord. My nigga, my nigga, but you talking about Trump, bro? I, I think that was that. just a like a. I mean, my nigga, they just wanted to have something to put in the news, bro. 
Seven hundred dollars. What was it? Seven hundred dollars. That's it. That's all he paid. That's a joke, bro. Like, my nigga, he wiped his ass with seven hundred dollars. All them niggas wiped their ass with seven hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> they don't even have seven hundred dollars, bro. They got a card, my nigga. That it just, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> like that shit doesn't even matter. I think that shit was a joke. Bro. Yeah, I read it. I read it. I fuck with it. So, so, uh, real quick, uh. Give me your top three artists in East Texas. Who's the top three? My nigga that's doing shit. CKP. You know what I'm saying? CKP? Shit. Shit. He doing his thing, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? His, I like uh, that shit. I just shared his, um, I think he was in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And he did a show out there. And I was, man, I was so happy to see, man, the crowd was singing his lyrics, man. Whenever you get to that point, man, that's, that's a blessing, man. I shared that, man. It was just, it was inspirational for me. Just, you know, just keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, shit. And, and, and I say, and I say myself, shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I put myself in there. You, you put yourself in there. Shit. Yes, Lord. God damn. <laughs> and and say, so my, the last so spot, the last spot, <laughs> last spot I say that's just, I think my nigga that really, really can do something, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's Smitty, man. She, she, my nigga, she really got her own little old thing going, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I like that, dude. Like, she, like, my nigga, she can, my nigga, like, really get in there, man. Really make some noise, man. So. Yeah. But, like, it's a whole lot of other artists, bro. Like, she, she, like. This niggas everywhere rapping my my studio, bro. Like I got niggas coming in here, like smashing me on the mic, fam. Like yeah. shit, making harder songs, fam. Like, but like my nigga, just as far as like out there, man. Like the, that shit with this got their presence, fam. Shit, it's my time three food. Ah, really? Shit, y'all heard it from Tuzo himself. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate, I appreciate having yeah, you I'm on the Chase That Big podcast today, bro. This whole it's been lit. An absolute pleasure, man. Have a conversation with you, bro. And you down in the valley, fool. I, I appreciate you coming down here, nigga. This this my hey, shit. Hey, man, we come to you. You <laughs> know <laughs> what I'm saying? That nigga full of thug. I, I fuck with you, man. Chase that bag, nigga. Y'all go check that out, nigga. My new pin volume three. Nigga. Yes, Lord. 420, nigga. You got a show that night. I wish you pull up down in this I home. know it, man. Shit, I wanted to. I tried my best to make it happen, but I would have ended up getting there late, and then shit, that would have yeah. fucked me up at that 420 oh, show. Oh, yeah, shit. My nigga got a show. We, hey, nigga, we fucking with Juvie, nigga. I was going to say real quick, on the, yeah. touch on the Juvie shit real quick. Oh, yeah, nigga. Uh, you said you said you, you, said May you got first, the show. May, May 1st. May 1st. Empire, nigga. Tyler, Texas, nigga. True Virtue, nigga. Juvenile. Yeah. Nigga, hey, me and Joseph, nigga, we live in this bitch. Yo, yo. That nigga might throw some money. I don't know, nigga. Hey, I, man, I, shit, they gonna have to come know. find out, that shit. Nigga, you man, know, I be trying to pay motherfuckers <laughs> entry into the club and shit. I really be trying to give back, man. Like, shit, five of y'all paid 20 to get in, nigga, $100. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, man, I be really looking out for people, bro. Like, for real. I look, hey. I look, I look, I look shit on the cool. If I, nigga, if you throw some money, nigga, I'm running up there, nigga. Goddamn it, shit. Yeah, nigga, we gonna have some, some fun, nigga. Goddamn. <laughs> I got twenty dollars, nigga. Shit, got twenty dollars. Say, say my nigga Mills probably got twenty dollars over there too. Yeah, Look, yeah, he gonna yeah, put twenty dollars yeah. in this bitch. <laughs> See, that ain't clean, the motherfucker. See, that nigga say I'm go get that bank, nigga. That bank money, nigga. Yes, yeah. Lord. Where can where can where can everybody find you with? Oh yeah, nigga, everything. Spotify, nigga, Facebook, nigga, book Chuzu, nigga, Instagram, Chuzu Music, nigga. I'll be on that Snapchat too, though, but. Yeah. You know, shit. You find me in the streets too. I don't chase that bag, nigga. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> but once again, bro, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you mm -hmm. on the Chase That Bag podcast. Mm -hmm. And once again, man, we had Suzu in this motherfucker, man. She sharing a whole lot of game and information, man. I fuck with you, bro, man. You doing a real good thing, man. I I, I fuck with it, man. I support it, bro. I shit. appreciate that, bro. I'm humble, man. I support it, bro. Real shit. Hey, man, sure, make sure y'all like and subscribe, man, on the channel, man, so that way we can go ahead and get the algorithms flowing so we can get everything out there in front of everybody. Hey. And as always, you know what we do. We chase that bag, bitch. Mm. Bow.